we are going to Maiden the Hildebeest today. But before the Maiden, I want to talk a little bit about what components we've got on the build, what went into the build, my initial impression so far of the frame. And I also want to mention a little bit about the ESCs and the PDB that I used. These are the new ESCs, the uh, APD120s, and it's the APD PDB500 uh, power distribution board. Yeah, so let's get right to it. So the ESCs, like I said, they are the new APD120s. They can handle 120 amps continuous with burst up to 200 amps. That's crazy. Inside here, we've got the Brain FPV Radix flight controller. We're running Betaflight 352. We've got the little ViFly drone finder, battery backup uh, buzzer, essentially a Hellgate without the extortionate price tag. We've got the Hero 7 Black up front on some custom TPU printed uh, bits from Willy. I'll link it down below. And we've got the uh, Indy 16 filter on the front of this. We're running the Grafner 14 by 8 E-Props. And spinning those are the T-Motor F1000 545KV X-Class motors. On the front we have the Fox here Predator V3 and we are running the uh, TBS Crossfire Nano SE receiver with the Immortal T antenna. Powering the whole thing is a Turnigy 6S Grafene 4000 milliamp hour battery. And we're running the Anti-Spark XT90 adapters. We have a little Lumineer Axi antenna on the back for the Stinger. <laughs> and we've got some LEDs back here and some LEDs up underneath the top plate to help give it a little light. So initial impressions on the frame. It's a beast. It's very heavy. Uh, the arms consist of two pieces of six millimeter carbon fiber, so making it a total of a 12 millimeter thick arm. The, it comes with uh, slightly chamfered edges, so you don't have to really do anything there. So it's a 570 millimeter frame, so it's not quite legal to be used as an X-Class. Let's go see what this thing can do. 